Hi, my name is Trevor Tyson from KBandsTraining.com. Today, we're gonna be doing an exercise that's gonna require three cones and your infinity loop bands. You're gonna space these cones out about three to four yards apart and get you a nice centralized training zone. Athletes will start in the rear angle, right in the middle by that cone, and then we're gonna accelerate forward to any cone called out by a coach or trainer. If you're working by yourself, be sure to set up your own sequences, and that'll work just fine as well. But if you're working with the trainer, the trainer will point to the cone that you're supposed to run to. You will sprint directly to that cone, back pedaling back, even with that cone, and then you'll change directions. So notice in the video, we're changing directions from left to the right, but always back pedaling, even with the cone you're at, so that we get to change angles a little bit. The infinity hurdles are great for first step quickness as we have discussed. So we wanna stay tight, we wanna stay small in about that 10 foot range to where we can utilize the resistance level but don't have to worry about them moving around. The infinity loops have that grip on the inside so we don't have to worry about them sliding up or down but be sure you have them on in the correct spot. We wanna be down just below the quad, not high on the legs, down low by the knees so that you get that good activation while we're running this drill. Add more resistance as you go, four to six sets for about 15 seconds in the hot zone. You wanna be moving quickly for that entire rep range and then take yourself a little break. Anywhere between six to eight complete sets with you and your group and you'll be all set for this exercise. For your very own infinity loop bands, head to kbandstraining.com and grab your sets today. We're four are gonna come in a pack and we've also got some great digital trainers that'll walk you through all sorts of exercises that'll help you get results.